Right, as previously stated, this is me correcting my own personal mistake. So in the video on screen now, I went over the third attribute of Iron Lung, and this basically holds true for pretty much all LMGs. See, annoyingly, for some weird reason, uh, a lot of people put damage to armor on, which is a no bueno. And I provided math to that effect. Now, what has actually happened here is, because I'm an idiot, when you put critical hit chance roll on an LMG, it's 9.5. So when you're looking at the build, a lot of the builds I was showing were at 50%, but then with the roll of critical hit chance, it goes to 59.5. As a multiplier for crit chance, you calculate this as 0 0.595. So I ended up having to put a 5 on the end of that 5.9 to try and get as accurate as possible. For some stupid reason, I went into autopilot and I put 5s everywhere so on the rate of fire build as well as the damage to armor build i calculated their dps at a 55 percent crit chance this is wrong i should not have done this this is a complete friggin brain dead moment by me and absolutely huge shout out to admiral orange who came into my stream yesterday to point this out to me well didn't point out where i'd made the mistake this is i had to go back over it but he did tell me that the math isn't mathing so huge shout out to Admiral Orange as well as Rousey because when I originally went over this I basically convinced Rousey of this firstly and he was like huh okay and yeah Rousey arguing it should have been my first clue that I'm potentially doing something wrong but he took my word for it um having a nice little chat at the moment and he's scolding me mm, poor Dodd but yeah there is an error here now, before I show the new math, I need to explain to you that although damage to armor now technically does out DPS rate of fire, it is only against armor. Okay. This means that in terms of longevity within your play, rate of fire is still going to beat it, mostly just because enemies have health as well. And then second reason being things like chungas exist so essentially meaning that if, as long as one chunga spawns rate of fire over the, lo the longer period of your play as long as one chunga spawns rate of fire will still technically outperform damage to armor however if you are hitting just the armor and the well, an armored target out of cover technically speaking at this point damage to armor will outperform it that being said though, this also does show that critical hit chance outperforms both, theoretically. So here is the correct math. So again, rate of fire is the baseline on headshot, critical hit chance will do 0.9% more and on body shot do 2.84% more. With damage to armor, both are 1.16% more. Now, the differences in this are like tiny there's not really much point getting worked up over this however one thing i need you to understand hopefully is because I, I pretty much guarantee someone's gonna go aha i knew it damage to armor bloody bloody blah one thing i need you to understand is the moment you hit something that doesn't have armor this happens now i call this dps stability and in a lot of builds, this mostly doesn't actually make a lot of difference. Damage to armor, damage to targets out of cover, bloody bloody blah. It mostly doesn't make a lot of difference. However, with LMG, simply because they come with damage to targets out of cover, which is 12%, and their damage to armor is 6%, what you actually end up with is a huge discrepancy. The moment you hit something with out armor, you near enough drop 5% instantly which is very easily then made up because the, the difference originally between damage to armor and rate of fire is like 1.16. There's not a lot in that. This is the difference between a 1% multiplier and a 2% multiplier. That's literally, there's 1% essentially difference. It's just because fire rate is a DPS multiplier of 5%, as is the roll, where damage to armor is 6%. So there's, not, there's nothing in it, really. But the moment you hit something without armor, this vanishes, which means that rate of fire will very, very quickly close the gap. You will typically find that even on like a standard elite, that 
they will basically remain even throughout. It will go literally as you're hitting armor, damage to armor will creep ahead. And the moment you hit health, rate of fire catches up. So it's just like this weird caterpillar effect going on and on and on. However, saying that, Chungas, at which point the gap will be made pretty huge. So rate of fire in terms of performance overall will still be damage to armor. Then we have the issue of crit chance. Crit chance is ideally going to be better, but it's also then going to depend on your crit ratio. How much crit do you actually have? If you're actually going to want to go crit, you need to basically go for 60. If you drop yourself down to 50, but at this point, we then have to add in, like, are you playing in a group? Are you playing? Because if there's a group and someone's running coyotes, rate of fire wins again. It's... It kind of becomes this horribly nuanced thing between rate of fire and critical hit chance. Um, mostly just because I can't be bothered re-rolling. However, I still do recommend rate of fire and I will be sticking with rate of fire. That being said though, I am terribly sorry to everyone that I misrepresented these. I am very sorry. Hopefully this does clear it up though. But in the meantime, have fun, good luck, and don't die. It's bad for the health.